Hello everyone, this is the Rural Adventurer here. I'm just enjoying the nice rain we're getting. It's a very welcome sight, considering we've been having a rather terrible drought lately. And here on my porch, I have these items. Three one-gallon jugs, each in uh, different states of uh, uncleanliness. This one here was coated in a, uh, a resin of some kind. It was similar in appearance to caramel. It had a smell that was neither pleasant nor unpleasant. Um, but when I, uh, I noticed when uh, it got hot, it would, get, it would get kind of runny. So I left it upside down in the sun on a really hot day, and most of it uh, just ran right out. And what you see here is the uh, the uh, caked on residue. I I think that this will actually come out pretty easily. This has a uh, also has a residue, but it's uh, it's it's kind of cooked on there, and uh, it also has. A cloudiness to the glass. I don't have as high a hopes that this one is going to um, be salvageable in any kind of a uh, new looking sense. This one's kind of the same story. Um, it's got this. It's got this residue and a uh, and a cloudy glass. Um, I don't know if the sand's going to uh, fix that or not. But uh, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to try um, a dry sand. I'm going to try a, uh, a wet, damp sand. And then I'm going to try a water with a uh, sand mixture, like a 50-50 mixture. We'll see if that works. Before using the sand, I made sure that these were as clean as I could get them uh, using soap and water and... Uh, scrub brush and uh, my bottle brushes these are about as clean as they're going to get using those methods uh, I'm going to need to take another step to uh, get them uh, cleaner and we'll see if that works now, it wasn't until after I started that I realized I didn't have a proper funnel for this so I uh, improvised and it works well enough I guess Okay, so what a difference the dry sand makes. I hope you can see this, but um, most, if not all, the cloudiness is gone. And uh, I got most of those deposits out. There's still some work to do on the bottom here. It's harder to, uh, to swirl that sand on the bottom there. It tends to want to stick down there. But uh, as of right now, I'm very happy with the, uh, the, the, the dry sand, and uh, we will try it with the others. Now, with the second one, I'm a little less happy with it, but altogether, it, the results are still pretty impressive. Um, like with the first one, it's kind of tough to get to the bottom. Um, you can see the residue down there. It's hard, like the swirling motion doesn't really affect it quite the way I'd like it to. The back and forth motion doesn't really affect it as the way I like it to. Um, I got this little strip here. Um, so, and just a couple little other spots up in the neck here. So I'm going to, um, try the uh, the water mixture with this one too and see if I can get this clean. 
clearer. Okay, so the story with this one is that the sand was clinging to this sticky substance. This is the one with the, uh, the caramel-like substance in it. Um, and I was having a hard time breaking that sand free once it clung to the walls. So I, I'm going to try the, uh, the uh, water concentration on these. Now the issue with the damp sand is that it's sticking to the bottom and uh, I'm not getting the kind of scouring on the bottom that I was hoping for and that's where I need it the most. So I'm going to move forward with uh, the higher water concentration and see if I can get the sand to move and get, get it to scour that bottom. So after the uh, soupy mixture, this is the best I could do with the caramel bottle. Uh, everything's off the bottom, but uh, towards the neck here, you can see this deposit just won't won't go away. Um, I try my best with it, and I'm going to see if I can get it uh, with the bottle brush at this point. Now that I've gotten as much off as I can with the sand, now I can. Uh, work on it with the bottle brush without hopefully without destroying the bottle brush in the process I got the bottles looking uh, much better um, two in particular uh, look, look pretty good um, I could I there's more work to be done and I will I will uh, do that before I show you the final result but uh, the, the sand does seem to work the dry sand works really well better than I thought and um, the, the wetter sand um, the more dense sand it uh, it kind of cleans up what uh, the dry sand doesn't get um, and this is just this is just play play like uh, sandbox sand I wonder if there's a uh, coarser sand that I could use that would do a better job or maybe something like kitty litter but um, that's for a different day um, thanks for watching. Rural Adventurer signing out. Perfect.